Hi there everyone and welcome to Tackle Thursday. I'm Sharon Sims, your host of Tackle Experts, weekly live chats with friends and associates of Tackle. I'm joined today at Tackle headquarters here in East Perth by Mr India Australia 2016, Pav Gill. Thank you for being here, Pav. Thank you, Sharon. Before I have a quick chat to you, I'd just like to share with everybody watching today a little bit of good news from Australia here. Australia is beginning to open up. As of Monday, uh, most businesses will be back to uh, almost normal. Yeah. There'll still be a few restrictions uh, in place, but pretty much back to normal. So that's really good news for you guys out there, uh, international students wanting to come to Australia, because I believe um, in approximately two months, potentially, uh, travel will be reopened as well. That's not set in stone, so um, just stay tuned to our lives and we will keep updating you uh, as any more news comes to hand. But potentially in two months, uh, you guys might be able to come and visit our beautiful shores here in Australia. So once again, thank you for joining me, Pav. You're welcome. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions and sure. just have a bit of a chat? So I want to know, uh, if you don't mind, why you chose Australia to study? Well, that's a long time back. That's, uh, it goes back in 2005. Um, we, we were looking for options, exploring options, and um, we chose in Australia because um, I'm a cricket lover. And you know, Australia has been really dominating in those. That era was all about Australia. Uh, but personally, I like it. It's a very safe country, and we used to look at the pictures, the nice photos of the beach. It's clean, nice. Yeah. It's safe. And um, Waka is my favorite cricket stadium. So that's why I've chosen Perth. But it's mainly because of uh, the, the whole country itself. And I, and I. I can say I made a really right decision. Awesome. You said Wacker's your favourite cricket stadium. Have you actually been there? I've been there. I think I've been there more than 10 times. Yeah. And I even got a chance to play there. So I, I, I played cricket on the weekends and we were playing in this community shield. And uh, yeah, we went there and we, we didn't play on the main pitch, but we played one next to it. It's a pretty awesome feeling, isn't oh, it, being there? Ask me about it, yes. <laughs> Um, can you tell me what course you were doing when you came here to study and why you actually chose that course? Yeah, well, I did Masters in Accounting, um, being Indian, you know, we love numbers and uh, numbers was my favourite, maths was my favourite. Pretty stereotypical, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but we're good at it, you know, we're really good at it. Sure. So, accounting was uh, my main mm -hmm. um, purpose and uh, I did that and um, from there I transferred my journey from accounting to finance, and um, uh, it's been awesome. And you chose accounting though because you were good at it, you enjoyed the numbers? Okay. Because I was really comfortable, was there. Yeah, okay. And so what, what's your current role now? What's your experience here in Australia in terms of not just the study, but then the ensuing occupations? Well, experience goes uh, um, so obviously from accounting. So this is a great thing about Australia. Like you don't have to get stuck in one field. You know, like it, I started as an accountant, and then I figured out I can do more, and I went into the finance, okay. and I worked with uh, various banks. I worked there for six years, and um, this the great thing is you can change your career, Absolutely. and you can still grow, and you can do better. And from there, now I work as a senior designer and consultant uh, for wedding homes. We design build homes, okay. and I just love it. You know how they say you have to, you have to live, have to work what you love. You know, so this is what I'm doing at the moment. And I sometimes I work ten hours. I don't even feel so. And this this country actually give you this opportunity to do that. And um, beside that, also also given me a an opportunity to explore my passion because um, I love acting and modeling so I have featured in some video med uh, videos in India okay. and done some short movies um, so it's I probably would not have done if I've not chosen to be here and so this country has given me a lot sure and in terms of the other passions I believe you had a trip to Europe would you care yes. to share a little bit about that yeah that was uh, when I won uh, Mr India Australia 2016 mm -hmm. and I got an opportunity to go to Europe okay. and then this is a classic example because I was working for a bank and my role was really really I was really busy and I, I've just told my manager this is an opportunity he said go for it not many people get it you know and we went there really good experience yeah. 
um, people from all over the world come, came there and I was, um, yeah, I was number three there. Uh, Congratulations, well oh, done. Thank you. And uh, yeah, that, that, that was probably the best moment of my life, which I always wanted to do something different and I did it. So I feel really proud of it. Excellent. Mm. And I think your story really sums up how flexible we are here in mm. Australia, how many opportunities there are available, um, not just to students, but once you've finished your study and out in the workplace. So you've been a great example of that. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how COVID-19 has affected you? Has it affected you personally? To be honest, uh, not really. Uh, okay. We did slow down in the beginning, but I mean, everything's been managed really well. Like we have zero cases in Perth and um, the whole country has been managed really well. Compared to world, we are in much better situation. Like we can walk free. Um, like you mentioned, from next week, everything's almost going back to the normal, mm. even casinos opening. Yeah, good news. <laughs> yeah, and the restaurants are busy. I went to the coffee shop yesterday and I have to wait literally 20 minutes. It, there's a queue to get into the coffee shops. It's We've been in a, a really, really good position as compared to the world. So, and my work did affect me for a month, but after that, we are busy, really busy. Excellent. I believe there's also a little bit of um, extra work that you do. Yeah, there's, um, um, there's a lot of community work we do. Right. Um, yeah. It's me and my wife, and um, we believe in um, giving back to the community. And um, so we take a small percentage out of our income, and we try to um, feed the homeless, or we send money back home to help the needy ones. Yeah. Um, and I think everyone should do that. We have the privilege um, to live here and earn good living, so we should uh, give it back to the community. So you're involved in charity work, which yes. is absolutely awesome. Thank you. Thank you uh, for sharing your That's story okay. with me. It's been delightful today. That does conclude another episode of Tackle Experts, weekly live chats with friends and associates of Tackle. As a reminder, uh, feel free to join in on Saturday where we will have our Tackle Experts casual chats. Um, I don't know where we'll be coming from this week. It's always a surprise, so stay tuned for that. Another beautiful um, area in Perth. Now, how you can connect with us. You can connect with us through our Facebook page. You can connect with us through our TikTok and Instagram. Uh, you can connect with us through our website, which is www.tackle.com.au. And Tackle is T-A-C-L-E. So once again, www.tackle.com.au. You can also send an email to admin, which is admin at tackle.com.au. So once again, thank you so much for being here. Yep. Thank you guys for joining in. Stay tuned for our casual chat on Saturday. And I will see you next week. And until then... Stay safe and stay informed. Bye Thank for now. You.